Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Linz, and for today, this video is going to be the first episode of our new series here on my channel entitled Makeup My Cuento Mondays. The gist of this whole series is while I'm doing my makeup, while I'm getting ready, I'm going to talk. Talk about anything, actually. Anything under the sun. And um, it could be like things about my life, things about certain topics, or I don't know, anything. Just anything. For today's episode, we're going to do a quint about my life, okay? And if you're interested in that, then keep on watching. Okay, so for today's makeup look, we're getting inspiration from Kim Kardashian West. It's, it's a smoky look with a nude lip and I found it really, really pretty. So I'm gonna do that today and uh, hopefully it works out. And uh, also, today's cuento is gonna be about the time I got catfished at Starbucks. <laughs> You're like, what? You got catfished? What? You don't even go out. You don't even... You don't even talk to people. You don't even date online. You don't even meet people online. What are you doing? Well, technically, I got catfished, but it wasn't online. Because I googled the definition of catfish. Getting catfish means they're this person, but they're really not that person. So, technically, that happened um, to me. So, get your iced caramel macchiatos ready, or your French vanillas, or your pumpkin spice lattes, because it's October, it's spooky season. Yeah, just get that, sit back and relax, and listen to my cuento while I put on my makeup. Let's go! By the way, um, all the products, I'm going to like write it here. And everything, so. First, let me paint you a picture, okay? I was basically um, 16 years old. It was the first day of college. And then I decided I wanted to go to Starbucks because, you know, I'm independent. Um, while waiting for my sundo, um, I was just there. I went to Starbucks because from school, you can get a free, um, a free ride from the campus to uh, a mall a mall that was um that had a starbucks in it so yeah i took the ride then i just told my dad that can you pick me up here instead and i was like okay yeah sure so i was just waiting for my dad to um pick me up so i decided to get a starbucks so really funny because that was like the first time i was ever going to order like anything by myself at starbucks like without titas or without like ates and whatever so i was just i was just there by myself and it was like uh, what time was it was it was like 6 5 p.m 6 p.m and it was like approaching darkness so it was like practically night i should get coffee because i'm a college student now and college students drink coffee so that's what i did i said can I get an iced coffee and also a tuna pandesal because I was hungry and learn from my mistake when you say iced coffee they're literally going to give you like brewed like coffee like literally water and coffee grounds that's like mixed and diluted and ice literally ice and coffee i had to drink that drink because i ordered it and i spent money on it and it's not like i have the money to buy another one so i just drank <laughs> that bitter ass coffee <laughs> apparently if you want that like creamy um milky uh, sweet ice coffee you're supposed to say something like an, an iced caramel macchiato or like a white caramel mocha or something like that but I didn't know that so I got my iced coffee then I got my tuna pandesal then I started walking to the second floor of the Starbucks um, 
Should I tell you guys what Starbucks it was? I don't think I should. I was minding my own business because I was just waiting for my dad to pick me up. And I was alone because it was the first day of school and um, I knew people. I already had friends and whatever, but I wasn't with them. I was apparently alone. Then what happened? Um, a guy went to me, went to my table because I was alone. Okay. I haven't eaten my pandesal yet and all I did was drank that crappy cup of coffee. He came to my table and then he said, um, yeah, pretty poop a survey. And I was like, um, I thought it was like a survey, like, like a questionnaire, then just answer it, then move on. Then he started, um, he sat down on my table, okay? He sat down. And then... He started asking me questions like that came like had it had to do like with my personality and uh, like my hobbies and stuff like that. Oh, he told me he was also from La Salle and uh, that he was um, conducting surveys for his thesis. I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I'm willing to help like a fellow schoolmate. And like, he's from LaSalle, so basically I don't think, I don't, I didn't assume he would do anything like sketch or whatever, but you know, I was wrong. And then he started asking me questions like, um, what program are you taking? Um, what year are you in? And like the question was like, oh, okay, good. It's good that you're a freshman because... Um, we're really looking for freshmen to answer our survey and then he was like I am a psych major so I'm gonna ask you all these questions about your behavior and everything like that like, yeah sure okay no problem and I still haven't eaten my pandesal and I was hungry I was like no I'm just I was like in my head I was like it's just gonna be like really quick what kind of survey would last more than like 20 minutes right i sort of felt like um after a few like 10 minutes 15 minutes like the questions weren't like completely uh, um about like thesis topics like it was more of like a getting to know you vibe i just continued answering the questions because i don't know um <laughs> when if while well, i like when I think about it now, that was very sketch. Like, very, very sketch. Like, a random dude comes to you and then asks you all these questions. And then in my house, like, no, it's just for thesis and everything. But, mm. but you know, you're just trying to be, like, optimistic. Like, it's normal. It's okay. And stuff like that. Larry oh. asks, like, um, what city do you live in? And blah, blah, blah. And I say, oh, I live here. And then he just, like... Oh, I live here too. Um, do you commute home? He was like that. Then I said, no, my dad picks me up and stuff like that. And then he was like, oh, if if ever you were like commuting home, we could have just like went home together. Huh? You tell a girl you just met that, oh, we could have like went the same way together going home you, you don't say that shit to like normal people weird in my head i was like i didn't like think anything was like suspicious or anything i just thought he was being nice or whatever or he was just being friendly and stuff then like he was asking questions like he was trying like to somehow get us connected in a way like i say like Oh, I used to compete, um, in my last year of high school, I competed in, like, this chemistry quiz B, and we got, like, a really good rank within, like, our province and stuff, and then he was like, oh, I used to compete in math, um, math quiz Bs too, oh my gosh, it's so funny that we, like, we connect on that level, bro, weird, my dad came, I was like, thank god, and then um, he said, 
like um let me join you to take you to your dad's car and i was like no i'm okay i'm okay i can do this i can walk by myself you don't have to um join me to my dad's car like no i'm okay and then he was like very persistent and i was like mm, no and what it is i had to take out my pandesal because i didn't eat my pandesal na, and it made me really sad my head like the whole time it didn't like come to me that he was trying to hit on me or anything like that later that night I added me on facebook and like i don't usually add people i don't know but he was from la salle and i met him like that night but it's like really sketchy to me like how fast he found me even the idea of like him getting my num my, my, my name and everything was really sketchy to me either way i just added him because well, I met him in real life, so in my head, like, it's fine, it's okay. But I know it wasn't really okay. Also, had like friends who were like higher, um, higher years from me, and then my friends told them that story, and then they were like, um, I know that guy. He he he's not taking his thesis right now. I was like, what? But he told me he was taking his thesis, that's why he interviewed me and stuff. And he was like, no, he's only in third year. Why why would he interview you if if he was in third year? Because on third years don't take their thesis yet. You should be in fourth year to take your thesis. I was like, What? That's so weird. And then my friends would start to say like, Oh, maybe he just wants to like he wants an excuse to talk to you and stuff like that. And I found it really weird. <laughs> I found it really pathetic. I was alone by myself and somebody would say something and it wasn't even real. And it was like, it was really off-putting to be honest. And like, he was also chatting me, but I wasn't like very responsive or like trying to carry the conversation. Cause why would I, why would I do that? why why so a few weeks later i don't talk to him at all because why would i and uh, my mom then calls me she was like why is your friend adding me on facebook what do you mean my friend is adding you on facebook this guy is adding me and he's also from la salle and he's also your friend on facebook and i was like who is this? And then she gives me the name. I'm like, oh my god. This is freaking crazy. It's crazy. He adds my mother on Facebook. That's freaking weird. And I was like freaked out. Because I was like, why is he adding you on Facebook? And then she said, who is this person? And I explained to her the whole thing. The whole shindig. How... He, 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 he went to me at Starbucks when I was alone and how he lies to me about being this and interviewing me and stuff like that. I told her, don't add him. Please don't add him. And then my mom was like, that's so weird. Okay, I won't, I won't talk to him. I won't add him and stuff like that. Then I unfriended him. Then bothered being in the same place with him looked away whenever he was there was like avoiding him 100 percent. i don't need that crazy in my life i was already taking up computer science it's too much crazy for me and that is the end of my getting catfished at starbucks story so i hope you guys liked this um episode this video please give it a thumbs up if you did if you were in my situation what would have you done how would you felt and if you agree with me that him adding my mother on Facebook was crazy. Um, this is the finished look by the way. Hope you guys like it. And that is the end of my video. That is the first episode of Makeup Me Cuento Mondays with Lance. If you want more of these videos, comment down below. Also, if you have any um, topics or stories you want me to share with you guys, then comment that down below as well. Please do subscribe to my channel since you're already here. And look out for my next video within the week. It's going to be within the week for sure. Because apparently I have only one week left before classes start. 
just like that please do click the notification bell after you subscribe to my channel so that whenever i post a new video you'd see it first also follow me on my social medias as well and that's the end of my video if you enjoyed it then amazing good job that's so great if you're ever in that scenario as well please do be safe don't talk to people who look sketch as fuck and don't just don't talk to people who lie apparently about what they're doing with their lives so stay safe be kind and i'll see you in my next video bye